Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life. And I have a special announcement. And I know some people have been waiting for this announcement. Well, guess what? Now it's here. And it is going to be a challenge. So what is this challenge? It is going to be a charm string challenge. What I am going to attempt to do is to create an incredibly long garland, um, but it will be made of buttons. Ergo, it will be a charm string. So that's what you're looking at on this table. I made this charm string in honor of my sister-in-laws. That is Yvette, Cheryl, Patty, Lisa, and my sister, Melanie, who's my sister. And then, of course, this is that Waterberry Button Company charm string that I featured in a video. And this one is in honor of... Um, who did I make this one? I don't have a tag on it. Oh, my mother. Hello. I should know that. Um, and I could tell because of the dangler on there. And this one is the only one I ever made. Um, is a tribute to my husband. This one, my daughter. This one, my grandmother, Daisy. And this one, me. And so this charm string is going to be very large. It is going to um, have several rules as far as, a, because I have to have rules just, otherwise it's not fun. It's not really a challenge. But what will happen is the challenge for me starts September 1st and will go until December 23rd. Or if I finish it sooner, awesome. So what is the goal? This is what the goal is. The goal is starting at this scroll on the staircase, which is a double wide staircase. So it's very big. It's very tall. It's steep in a way. Um, okay. It's definitely steep. And the goal is for me to create a charm string long enough to drape in little loops from this rail. So going all the way up the stairs. And you know me, it's not a challenge unless you do it completely. And you, people who know me know that I don't like things are half done. So yes, it will also go across the catwalk. So it is going to be a very long charm string. The longest one I ever made, I think it was like five feet long, maybe a little bit over five feet. So this one is definitely going to blow that one away. And I will measure this so that we have a number. And also when we're keeping um, up with the progress, you know, people are like, how many feet do you have or inches or whatever? At least you'll have an idea. So what am I using for this challenge? Buttons, thousands of buttons. So do I have enough? No, but I will talk about how you guys can help me get enough um, to complete this challenge. Because as I said, there is a rule, there are several rules. And obviously, you know, colors, sizes, types of material does not matter. Um, I'm going to consider this to be my international charm string for the holiday season that will be the theme so the types of buttons used the sizes the colors the materials will not matter because there will not be an official theme you know the theme as I said is 
you know, just it's an international term string for the holiday season. So whether you celebrate Christmas, Diwali, Kwanzaa, um, Hanukkah, or maybe you don't celebrate, you know, at all, that's totally fine. Everyone is welcome here as long as you're a good person. And, you know, I want to make this, you know, a, a, I'll call it our button community project um, for this year. So I'm hoping that people get excited, that people are willing to donate any leftover buttons or buttons that they're not using um, to this project. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a few minutes, how you can do that. And also, I will definitely be recognizing the people that um, donate because we deserve it. Um, and as you can see, I've gone through my entire collection of buttons and pulled out everything I have that I can use for this project. This is probably 75 to 80 percent of the buttons that I have um, are out on these tables and will be used for this project. Um, as I stated, I only have from September 1st to December 23rd to complete this. And I cannot do it without you guys. You guys have been so amazing, so gracious. Some of the buttons that you see on this table, um, folks like you sent to me over like the last year. So I really, really appreciate it. And as I promised and told you, I am definitely going to use them in projects. So what other project is more perfect to use this for than this gigantic holiday type garland of charm string that I want to create. So I'll let you look in there. I just want to give you an idea of like what I have. So, and these have verdigree, I think it's called on them. Um, there's some in here, a couple that don't, but most of them do. So I have, I'm going to see if I can recover like this one can't recover that. That's just crazy. Um, but I'm going to see if there are any in here I can treat and re recover and treat. And of course I'll use those in the project. If not, I will be discarding them because that disease gets on anything that is not a precious metal and it will um, eat away at the metal and give it the same disease. So just something to be aware of. Can it be treated? Yes, but like I said, when it's this bad, you don't, you just want to discard that. Something like this, maybe I can recover. This one, not that one either, which is sad because those are very, very, very old um, military buttons, but it is what it is. And as I said, this charm string is to honor all people. So male, female, or however you identify, um, you know, this is something just to represent peace on earth, goodwill to all men and women. And I want you guys to be a part of it. So what are the rules? So some of the rules are going to be as follows. Um, and I'm going to really stick to these rules. Number one is I am the only person that can work on this charm string. So I cannot bring in help, volunteers, my husband, my dog, my daughter, my sister, like sister, no one can help me with this. Only I can work on it. Number two, the buttons I have, as you saw what I have here on these tables, will be used in this project. And I cannot purchase buttons. I cannot um, have someone purchase buttons for me. What I can do, though, is ask for donations of buttons. So what that means is I cannot give someone money to buy buttons for me. I cannot use, of course, I could easily go online and purchase thousands of buttons. I can't do that. Otherwise, it's not a challenge. It's just buying buttons and putting something together. 
So in order to, you know, have community involvement, if you guys want to donate buttons to this project, I will give you the information as to where to send them. And I will also help you if you have a bulk um, quantity of buttons so that you can get the very best postal cost so that you don't overpay. Um, and those buttons will be incorporated into this charm string. And if there's any leftover, which I find hard to believe because I know I don't have enough right now, <laughs> um, I will then use them to create another long charm string going down the railing that you hold on to when you go down the stairs. And you, I don't know if I'll go back and show you how long that is. That's very long as well. It's um, extra long as a matter of fact. We had to have it um, custom built to make sure that it could reach from the top to the bottom because the standard size handrails were too short. Um, but and, and plus it meets building code, so that's very important. But yes, yeah, so that is, you know, how I will get the buttons. The buttons are the buttons that I already have, as well as if I, I'm out in the world and someone wants to give me buttons, you know, donate them to this project, then those can be used. Of course, if you guys want to participate, you can mail in um, your button donations. If you are, live in um, the state where I live and near the town that the postal information is for, we can arrange, I'm sure, to meet somewhere publicly um, and safe for both of us, of course, for a pickup. And apologies, but my hands are very dry because I was going through all these buttons and washing my hands like 22 times. And I had to wash some buttons, of course. Um, the only thing I do ask is that the buttons are relatively clean, but otherwise that's it. If they're relatively, even if they're a little bit dirty, don't worry about it. I look at my hands. I will clean them. Um, and that's the other part is I cannot have any assistance whatsoever other than the donation of buttons with this project. So that means as it's going to get very difficult, um, because when I made the a little over five foot charm string, what happened is sometimes things would get caught up. Um, you know, you have to try to keep it in some sort of order so it doesn't tangle up. Um, and of course, the weight of it is much more than you would imagine. I mean, people purchase, um, you know, meat, protein, or fruit, or veg. You know how heavy like a cabbage could be, for example, or a whole chicken. So imagine dealing with a gigantic charm string with all sorts of glass, metal, shell, pearl, plastics, etc. on it. You know, it's very heavy. So, but part of the challenge is I must handle this entire project myself other than hoping that people will donate buttons to it. The other rule I have is I can only use one type of stringing material. So I cannot use, for example, wire, thread, and fishing line. I can only select one type and there may be others I am going to explore, and mostly due to the weight, I am going to explore, um, you know, what I think will be best. Obviously, some of these buttons are very, like, look at this one. Where is it? Right there. Are very small, <laughs> like that little tiny old one that's a little bit decrepit. Um, so I have to make sure that whatever I use, of course, um, it will go through, it'll thread through the holes that are in the buttons, otherwise I can't use them. Um, and like I said, these buttons are every size from the tiniest to the largest. And I plan on using every single one of them um, in this project. Also, another rule is I am limited to two pounds of 
bits and bobs or miscellaneous things, whether they're the teeth from an elk or little broken pieces of porcelain that I could thread through. Um, the idea is they have to be small and they ha I cannot use more than two pounds worth. The reason why is, first of all, the reason I'm using those materials is because real original charm strings always had miscellaneous bits and bobs included with the buttons. They found little, you know, hag stones. Hag stones are probably more familiar to those in Europe, such as in um, the United Kingdom, um, Ireland, Scotland, you know, countries like that. And what they are are little stones. Sometimes they're bigger and they have a hole in it that you can completely see through. And you would just thread that through onto your charm string. Um, if you had a little, you know, animal, a porcelain animal, or maybe a bisque doll head that was tiny or something, or a little tiny, you know, toy that a boy would play with, you know, a carved thing made of um, bone or wood or whatever, what would happen is they would thread those through on their charm strings as well. So I plan on doing the same thing, but once again, I cannot use more than two pounds of that type of material. One of the reasons for that is obviously if I just fill this up with a bunch of other miscellaneous things, you're so losing the idea of the charm string and the history of it. Another rule that I have is... um I cannot use special implements to help me do this. I must do all of this by hand. So I cannot use a threading machine. I cannot use, um, I'm not even using one of those tiny little metal threaders. Like I'm not using, you know, the little ones that have like the, they almost remind me of um, metal cameos. When I was a kid, that's what I always thought. Um, but I'm not using any special threading devices. I will not be using anything special to hold up the charm string as it becomes longer and heavier. I will have to figure out how to do that manually. Um, so I think that's important. It makes the challenge a little more interesting for sure. And the last thing is I, and this is going to be a really hard one as well, I am going to count <laughs> the number of buttons that I use for this project and the number of bits and bobs that I use for this project. So, and then another, this is not really a rule, but it's something that I want to do as an incredible thank you to those of you that have already donated to this project, didn't even know you were donating to this project. I thought about doing this like a year ago, but I was like, oh my God, it's going to be so huge. It's going to be such a challenge. It's going to be crazy. Um, should I do this? Do I, do I have the time, etc.? And now that I definitely have the time to do it, it's something I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, I'm going to do it. So um, what I'm going to do is for anyone that donates to this project, I have some little tags that I will be adding to the charm string. And on those tags, it will note um, your initials. I will put your name if like in your name would just be your first name, last initial and the state and or country that you are from. So it would be something like um, Bob M. Utah, USA. So that in the future, when I'm looking at this and I'm going to you know, try to document a tiny little bit of history about it, um, you know, you were a donator to this. So I, it's a one way that I could definitely say thank you to you and recognize, um, your effort and your contribution to the project, which I 
will greatly, I can't even tell you how much I will appreciate it. And also, if you um, are donating and you have any information or history about the buttons that you're donating, or if you know what the materials are, you know, if you want to include any notes, that's great. If you do not want to include any notes, that is totally fine. That's great as well. The more important thing is definitely trying to get enough buttons to complete this project. And yes, I'm relying on beautiful strangers to help friends, family. As far as donations of buttons go, I talked to three people about this project so far. One person thought, no one is going to send you anything. I don't know why you're doing this project. <laughs> I know, so negative. Why you're doing this project? It's probably going to take forever. Do you think you can really do it? How come you don't want any help? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I just really don't deal with negative people. So I was very gracious and professional, painfully so. And they finally stopped talking. And that was good. But then I spoke to another person who is from, and I'll even mention, Alaska. And she was so excited about being able to send me some buttons that are actually part of the family. So super important um, that I hopefully get those so I could definitely create that um, card and tribute to that person and the family um, to get those into this charm string. And then I was talking to my pen pal. You know who you are. I know these people watch these videos and I thank all of you so, 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 so much for your support, for your comments that you leave. Every click, which takes less than a tenth of a second of that thumbs up, so appreciated, um, as well as, of course, Everyone that subscribes, super incredibly special. And please share these videos with other folks that like buttons as well. I would really appreciate that. So thank you so much. But my pen pal, I she was the first person that I actually, besides the other negative person, that I let the cat out of the bag on purpose that I was going to be doing this project. And oh my God, she's so excited. She had like 13,000 questions and I love it. And what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys updates every two to three weeks um, as to where I am with progress on this project um, as well as if I, you know, have any obstacles that come my way. Obviously, I'm going to give you some measurements. Um, in the next video, I will let you know how long that um, railing is, as well as the handrail on the other side, um, so that you'll get an idea of, you know, how gigantic this thing is going to be. Um, also, I am going to feature some of the buttons um, in those videos so you'll you know get some more button knowledge as far as what button you know some of these buttons are made of um if i have any history of course on them i will share that as well and i will also um give a shout out you know to some people that donate if you do not want me to mention your name or whatever that is totally fine i absolutely understand either way um but I definitely, you know, want to make sure that I'm keeping you guys abreast of everything that's going on with the project. And if I have to, like, change gears, you know, there's going to be some things I will try that may not work. And there may be some things that will, you know, work out so much better than I expect. And I'm hoping to get a lot more of that, as well as, you know, um, reading some of the comments that you guys have. I will do that as well, and like if you look at these buttons, these are what most button collectors would say are definitely your nothing special buttons, um, but you know, they're good for crafty things perhaps, like this is fine, whatever, whatever you send me, like I said, I will greatly appreciate, so please participate. Um, the address where you can send um, the buttons 
is as follows. First of all, I will be posting it in the description and the comments area of this video, as well as, um, you know, all of the update videos on this project. And so the address is The Velvet Lounge Life, as you see right here, care of, or you could put C as in car, backslash O as in Oscar, M as in marvelous, Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, that is M Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, P O Box, six nine eight Tolland T O L L A N D Connecticut zero six zero eight four. So that's the Velvet Lounge Life Care of M Garrett P O Box six nine eight Tolland Connecticut zero six zero eight four. And as I stated, it, um, also look at the about tab for this YouTube channel and scroll down near the bottom and there's contact information there as well. But I will put um, the contact information in the description of each video and the comments. So please help me fulfill this dream, this challenge that I've set for myself and that I've been thinking about for over one year. Um, and there will be also some special things coming up for you guys um, upon completion of this challenge. So make sure you are hopefully involved. And also remember, we do have lots of other videos that you could watch in addition. And please share this video with other button lovers. Um, and I much appreciate you all. Thank you for tuning in. And remember that one thing that I say, your health is your wealth. And without your health, you have absolutely nothing. So please, please, please take care of yourselves and be well.